Queen PR here, and I am here with one of my favorite human beings on the planet, Big E. Stop that. You too kind to of me. You do good. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. But I've always wanted to talk to you about Seinfeld. Because it is one of my favorite shows of all time. You got taste. You got taste. Yes. Do you have a favorite episode or scenario that those knuckleheads have gotten into? Uh, it is so difficult to pick a favorite. Uh, but every December 23rd, I watch The Strike because of Festivus. You know, that's the Festivus episode. Uh, and that has a special place in my heart. Uh, so let's go with The Strike. Season 9, episode 10. So you're a season 9 fan? Yeah, so... Are you not a season nine fan? No, I'm more of the early seasons, you know? I get that. I get that. And I have a lot of love for the early seasons. But I love, I feel like by season, by the last like three or four seasons. So I'm not trying to take a shot at Jerry. But I, when, we, when we lose the stand-up bits, you know what I mean? Like they, they realize that we don't need the little bits of stand-up. We cut that out. And then they start interweaving all four of the stories and they all conclude together. They really hit their stride. I, I have a lot of love for the early seasons. But I also love seeing the evolution of the show. And I don't feel like it petered out at all. There are a few, like, a couple questionables. Like, I, I don't love clip shows. So the clip, well, I usually skip those. And the Puerto Rican Day uh, episode, which was originally banned. That's, that's an odd one. It probably should have been. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a strange one. But, but other than that, uh, I thought season nine was incredible. I love it. I've always wanted to talk to you, uh, talk to you about that. Um, podcast on Sunday. Same, same. Salsa. Salsa. <laughs> because sorry, sorry. Salsa. And uh, do you button that button? Is, is there a purpose for that top button? I don't, I was on the fence, you know. I, I, I left it open before, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, if you're a Seinfeld fan, you know, you know, you know. Um, so I do love that you've sort of been like the ultimate WWE ambassador these days. Is your schedule like busier since you've it, stopped wrestling? It's, or? it's been fairly busy, you know. I will say it's been nice in that, on, for one hand, you know, I'm doing these PLEs, which are on the weekend. But I have my weekends from time to time and, and, and having a lady in the, in the life. It's nice to, to have some freedom there. But I've been pretty busy and I'm not someone who can... I enjoy my downtime, but I also like being productive. And I like doing things. So being able to represent the company in different ways, doing community stuff, uh, and just the myriad of things we do. I'm, I'm grateful more than anything to be 15 years in, to, to still have a job, for one. Um, but yeah, it's been enjoyable. And I just want to thank you and, and the New Day as a whole of what you do for the community, what you've done for black wrestling and just black people in general. I love it. I got the painting of you guys doing the fist. I got the T-shirt because that means a lot. So I do, I do want to thank you for what you do for our community. Um, what are you excited for this weekend? Uh, I'm excited for Punk Andrew with Seth as the ref. I think that's going to be incredible. I mean, so many incredible matches seeing uh, Rhea back. I'm excited for the card as a whole. But just, just to go back, I have to thank you, and just fans in general, but our black wrestling fans. One, y'all stick with us. Y'all ride for us. Y'all support us. Y'all are there for us. Y'all deal with a lot of nonsense, especially online. But uh, we appreciate you very, very much. So uh, thank y'all. Of course. And it has been me and Big E. I can't believe it. It's so good to see you. And I'm out.